Well, the answer to that uh, maybe 10 years ago would have been yes. <laughs> but uh, we are seeing a lot more options for patients. Uh, there, the reality is that many patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer actually don't end up getting any treatment because we think they're either we or, or the referring physicians within the community think they're too frail for a cystectomy and end up not really getting any therapeutic or, or, or curative type treatment. So there is a large population of uh, patients out there that we're not even seeing to assess for surgery. So the answer is no, not everybody needs a cystectomy. Um, in fact, you know, most patients perhaps may not make it to cystectomy either because uh, you know, there are alternatives that are more palatable for them or there's just really not a candidate for this uh, uh, surgery. So there are a number of uh, things that we're seeing. So one is chemo radiation has is, is always been around, uh, this idea of trimodality therapy, or TMT, where we do a, a good resection, then the patients are treated uh, with chemotherapy and radiation therapy, highly effective treatment. So that's sort of um, coming up as, as a more palatable option for patients. There are a lot more studies now looking at long-term results, comparison with surgical series, uh, that show really uh, quite efficacious. So there's renewed interest. It's, again, it's been around for a long time, but there's renewed interest and buy-in, I think, from urologists to explore TMT a little bit further and further other combinations of treatments, including immunotherapy. So there are a number of trials such as the SWOG1806 study right now looking at uh, TMT plus or minus uh, immunotherapy to see whether we can improve on those results for those patients. So those are exciting uh, results that we'll see in the future. There are other bladder preserving options uh, as well uh, where we're seeing a novel uh, intravesical delivery options of medications along with PD-1 or PD-L1 inhibitors in combination therapy to, to try to e a, control the disease or potentially even uh, uh, have a long recurrence free survival or, or, or wrong, long disease free survival for these patients who traditionally would have gone to cystectomy. So we're very excited that we have other options available for patients or there's lots of clinical trial activity within this space that is, is new. And for, for us who've been in this space for a long time and really there's been such a uh, paucity of trials, uh, we're, we're very excited to have these options available for patients to, to offer, uh, you know, offer other non-cystectomy options to them.